Yes, uh, good evening, Mr. Wally Brooks. Bill Jordan calling. Yes. How are you doing this evening? Okay, okay. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. Is this a good time? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, well, um, sorry for last night, but I got everything under control, so if you like, we can start the interview. Okay, anytime. Okay, great. So, Wally Brooks. Who is Wally Brooks? Wow, you don't want... I never had anyone ask that. Well, I mean, from the standpoint, I, I, you have a picture here of you lifting the weights way back in, in 1982. Uh, is, is that part of who you are? Is that when you started breathitarianism? Well, um, gee, I really don't know where to start. I mean, this is um, this thing is so far away from where I started until getting back to the beginning again is. It seems almost impossible. Okay, let's start with you. Uh, let's let me, let me, let me, um, so if your audience is not aware of, the, is your audience aware of, of, of the metaphysical world? Uh, the, you know, the, what they call the new age world that's been cooking for quite a while now. Yes, there are, there are some people in the audience who are familiar with it, yes. Oh, I see. Um, now let me, let me think for a minute because... I um I I haven't done this in a long time from this point um uh, because I've only been uh, you know I've been so into people who are very advanced in it until I haven't uh, I just really haven't taken the time to go back to that beginning stage again you know I got gotcha. you so let me see um. You know, a lot of, when it comes to, you know, my own personal self, I think the best thing that's written about me is on the web. I mean, the way it's put, you know, I've been teaching this stuff for a few years or whatever the case is. It's sort of like a bio. It's very short. It's very brief. But it, it best describes me because I don't have much of a history in this world. Uh, you know, I came from another world. I'm so out of this world until to start with the truth wouldn't make any sense at all. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You know, it would be like running into an alien, which I am, but since people don't even know that such a thing exists, like they're still wondering whether flying saucers exist, and, you know, it would, to me, it's like someone wondering if, uh, if you know, if automobiles exist. <laughs> okay. Because, because I been around for 72 years now, you see what I mean? Yes, I do. So, but but I think um, uh, most people call, uh, let me just sort of give you my perspective on how I may be able to reach uh, a lot of your questions. Most people are interested because they hear about breatharianism from the viewpoint that breatharians that they've heard about are people that can live without eating food. That is, that is the main information in the world. And, of course, that was not really the main purpose of, of even making that knowledge known. The purpose was to make people aware of the possibility that we could do something way far beyond what they had been uh, thought to believe. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. So that was the whole idea. When I started breatharianism, I started many years ago because I, I came to the conclusion not knowing that I would be different from anybody on the planet in the sense of just being aware of things that they weren't. I'm not different in, in, in the, the in, as far as the physical body is concerned, but I was different because I came into the world in a different way, and I came with a lot more information about my, my uh, purpose of being here than most people. So I started off very young knowing that I could live without eating, but I also made it clear and have always made it clear that I could only do that under certain circumstances. Do you see what I mean? Yes, what are those circumstances for those who don't know? Well, at the time when I, when I uh, uh, introduced myself to the world, that's when I was, uh, did the demonstration on That's Incredible. And the circumstances have always been being in the environment with the proper air. Right. Do you see what I mean? When you live on just air, the body is so sensitive in its normal state that even a small amount of pollution in the air, whether it be from automobiles or from whatever, 
uh, is a tremendous uh, detriment to the system. So it's impossible to live on just air alone on this planet except in very limited places. Do you see what I mean? So in other words, the times that I spend not eating here were not that many. One, because I, it wasn't what I came to do. But when I did do it, I could only do it up in the mountains, uh, way away from the, na the normal populations. You see what I mean? Yes, I do. So what I always said is that people can live without eating in the proper environment. Now, there are people who physically live on the earth. I've heard of some in Russia and maybe some in India. But they are people that are designed to live that way, and they live in an environment that's conducive to that particular situation. But under the circumstances we have in this country and under the, uh, uh, the situation we have with the electricity, with all of the man-made, uh, well, it's not even a matter of being man-made. It's just that there are things that, that were uh, counterproductive to the actual energy of the human body. For example, radiation from, you know, electromagnetic forces like television stations, transmitters. And the number one problem on the planet right now is the power system that we have. The AC power system is, is, is extremely detrimental to the body. How so? And all the other things that the world was not aware of, these are the things that would prevent you from going without eating because you could never get the body in an environment that was free of these types of intrusions. And how does so the, what, how, how, does, how, how does the AC system, you know, uh, how does well, it? You know, I don't know if you're familiar with electricity, but the electromagnetic effects, the AC electricity is very detrimental to the system because the human body is, is it runs on the electrical system which is more related to what we call direct current or DC current. Yes. It's a current that runs in one direction. You know, you have your, your positive and the negative, and they, all, they both run in one direction. But the alternating current, the actual electricity is reversed. You know, it's a system where you run from uh, positive to negative for, you know, a period, and then it switches back the other way. So you have this interruption in the natural flow of things. Mm -hmm. It would be like your light switch on the wall. If you turn it on, the light would come on, and, but if you, if you turn it off, it would go off. Well, that's what happens with AC current. It actually goes on and off. Do you see what I mean? Uh, yes, I do. And, and so this interrupts the, the natural mechanism of the body, and it would prevent you from being able to uh, be at your natural state. Matter of fact, that is the number one problem on the planet right now is the, uh, what they call electromagnetic uh, pollution. And so that I didn't even speak about years ago because there was, you know, I didn't want to, it wouldn't do any good to talk about it because most people were not able to be, to be able to, um, to not have the mechanism to detect it. You see what I mean? Yes. And I came with that mechanism. I have a built-in mechanism that allows me to feel the energy from all different types of, uh, of uh, manifestations. And so in doing that, over the years, I was trying to find what would be a good way to get people, want, make them aware of the, the, the world that we were preparing for, which, by the way, that world is here now, which is what I call the New Earth. Well, back when I started years ago, I really had no idea how that would play out. All I knew is in order to get people to the point where I was, I needed to find out what was blocking them from getting to that state. And I was not aware of all the problems. You see, it took all the years that I, that I spent trying to figure out what it is that keeps people from moving up in their vibrations, which would naturally bring them to the frequencies of the new earth. Okay, so, so now what you're saying is we, the normal human beings, such as myself, our, uh -huh. our body vibrates at a lower frequency than it should. Exactly. And because a lot of things, the electromagnetic uh, fields of contamination. Right. Okay, so now you have a website and you, you teach mm -hmm. people. What is it that, that you can do? Well, my, okay, well, what my website does...